Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing the compound diesoaminobenzene from aniline. For this experiment you will need 7 grams of aniline, 2.6 grams of sodium nitride, 12 grams of concentrated 37% hydrochloric acid and 10.5 grams of sodium acetate. Start by placing a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask on a hot plate stirrer with a stirring bar inside. 40 ml of water was added in it. Stirring was turned on and 12 grams of concentrated 37% hydrochloric acid was added to it. This would make a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid. Next, 7 grams of freshly distilled aniline was added to the flask. Aniline should be freshly distilled, otherwise the solution appears dark due to the presence of impurities. Aniline dissolves in the hydrochloric acid forming aniline hydrochloride. Next, the flask is placed in an ice bath. A thermometer was placed in the Erlenmeyer to record the temperature. The temperature should be maintained around 5 degrees C. Once the solution is cooled to below 5 degrees C, chilled sodium nitride solution containing 2.6 grams of it in 6 ml of water is added in small portions using a glass pipette. A very keen eye has to be kept on the thermometer as the temperature should not rise above 10 degrees C. This could result in the formation of tarry unwanted side product. At lower temperature, diacetizationization of aniline takes place, forming benzene diazonium chloride. The complete addition of sodium nitride took about 5 minutes. The color of the solution has turned orange with some dark precipitate floating around. There is no need to remove it by filtration. Add a solution of chilled sodium acetate containing 10.5 grams of sodium acetate in 20 ml of water. This should be also added slowly using a glass pipette. This causes the precipitation of the product diazoaminobenzene. Excess of acid that is a 0.5 to 1 equivalent to the diazonium salt maintains the proper condition of acidity required to stabilize the diazonium salt solution. But in this case, acid concentration is less and this causes the coupling of the diazonium chloride and the primary amine aniline to form the diazoaminobenzene. Sodium acetate, being a weak base, free bases the aniline hydrochloride back to aniline and lets it react with the diazonium salt. It also probably forms a buffer solution, keeping a steady pH. Do not let the temperature to rise above 20 degrees C. If you feel like the temperature is rising, small ice cubes could be added to decrease the temperature. Now, vacuum filter the product using a Buchner funnel. The product was washed 3 to 4 times with cold water to remove all the water soluble impurities. The vacuum was turned on for few minutes to completely dry the product. Here is the crude product diazoaminobenzene. The weight of the dry crude product is 11.2 grams. Now it is time to recrystallize and purify the product. Petroleum ether is the solvent used in this case. The mixture was boiled with reflex for 15 minutes with activated charcoal to remove the colored impurities. After 15 minutes the solution was filtered using a normal gravity filtration method. The filtrate was placed in the fridge overnight. For some reason I did the recrystallization in two separate batches and let them cool down. In the bottle on the right side we had less product and slow cooling was done and this led to the formation of longer crystals. On the left side we had low amount of solvent and larger amount of the product and this led to the formation of smaller crystals.
the supernatant petroleum ether solution was decanted into a beaker this will be later distilled and the solvent will be recycled here is the crystallized product set to dry after drying they were transferred to a fresh filter paper for weighing and for capturing some shots after recrystallization we are left with 4.1 grams of the product it has nice golden yellow color and has fine needle shaped crystals now we will move on with the calculation here 186.26 grams of aniline would give 197.24 grams of the diiso amino benzene we had used 7 grams of aniline and that would give us 7.42 grams of the diiso amino benzene and that is the theoretical yield the practical yield was 4.1 gram after the recrystallization the percentage yield is 55 percentage so that's all in this video these are all my patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that i am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos you can also support me via patreon or paypal the links for both of them are in the description once again thank you for watching do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos thank you